oh hey, it's just a rainy day here at the Museum of the American Revolution. So my friend and I here thought we would burn some time by giving each other 18th century style tattoos. Got a nice vial of ink, this big sailmaker needle. We'll see what we can do. If only that were true, we would definitely be violating some health code regulations if we did that. But here at the museum, we often get questions about tattoos in the 1700s, and they were really common. If you look closely at some of the figures in Don Troiani's paintings in our Liberty exhibition, you can make out tattoos on different people. Tattoos have an ancient American history. Indigenous Native Americans were tattooing themselves long before the arrival of Europeans. And by the 1770s, there were a variety of different people you would have seen with tattoos on their bodies. In Philadelphia, for example, it was often working people, sailors and shoemakers. They could be really simple, or they could be elaborate. Flags, stars, or this bizarre mermaid. After the Revolutionary War, young sailors got all sorts of patriotic tattoos. Flags, July 4th, 1776. But interestingly, the men who served in the Revolutionary War had relatively few patriotic tattoos. Maybe this was because you mostly got tattooed as a young sailor, or maybe it had something to do with the development of American symbols and American identity. So, with the help of my pal, we're gonna demonstrate how this might have worked, not on human skin, but on an orange. Let's see how it works. Tattooing today involves a tattoo gun, which is really just a needle or a collection of needles that's rapidly puncturing the skin. In the 18th century, it's what we would call today stick and poke. It just is a single large needle and India ink, black ink. Don't try this at home, but you've seen what a stick and poke tattoo looks like on our orange. Here's a stick and poke tattoo, a real one on my arm. Today you'll see all sorts of people around with tattoos, and now you know there are revolutionary connections for this type of body art. If you like this video, you have questions for us, like and subscribe below. Oh. Uh.